No, I don't want to be a Christian where force nothing down nobody throat because nobody could force nothing upon me until I was ready. The only thing I can do is talk about the love and the mercy of God and share my experience. No, men I go through a thing when I'm depressed for months. Um, usually I'm a social drinker, recreational drug user, and I find myself in a situation where the man them where they are rum bar from. Sun people till night come down, they have no upon me. When you smell me, you smell a real rumid. Me start smoke weed, which I used to smoke weed one long time ago. I'm a stop and it reach a point where me dependent on it. If me not have the weed, all the stem, the little stem part of weed, me cut up and roll it in a risla. If me not have no risla, me roll it in a Bible leaf. That's how bad it got real stocky business. Rum, cigarettes, weed all day, every day. And me used to take some weight loss pill, fentanyl, and they make me high. And me live upon them, me feed upon them, always jogged up. Now, one night in particular, me decide say, you know, I'm going to sleep with my mother. And I ask her for play some prayer for me. And she find a Cindy Trim prayer upon YouTube and she played it. And while she was playing it, I find myself... I just go... <coughs> I saw me behave. And um, like she think I was having a seizure. To me, what was happening is like one entity inside of me want to come out, but it can't come out. So the next day, I decide to go to church with her. Lo and behold, when I go to church with her now, the pastor had also called me the first person reach up there come and know something wrong with me i've been known that there was something wrong with me but this time i decide say you know what may i go to church and see what go on anyway go up at the altar from the pastor see me she start, she had tears in her eyes and she said i just want to hug you she wasn't supposed to lay hands on whatever because of the covid so she pray and my drop on my butt. Then she walked, because there was a fence there, and she walked come around the fence. And she started praying. She called, because while she was still praying, when my fall and my dip on my butt, she was still praying. And the thing, whatever was happening to me the night before, it still happened. Me, I stiff up. <laughs> and she come around and she had pray and she lay her hands on me. And I remember she had said, Lucifer! Lucifer, she had prayed, she had prayed, she had prayed. She was over me for a while. And when the Bible tells us that the unclean spirit left with a loud cry, no feeling, no joke thing, I was there and me just, <laughs> I had on my mask and me just, <laughs> and whatever in me, come out and me just drop on my head back boom and my dad will feel weak but I feel so relieved and <sighs> anyway after that I come home and I have no I not have no need I not have no urge for smoke for drink nothing everything it gone no certain people not believe in certain things but let me tell you this Ephesians 6 verse 12 tell us say we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Certain things, very real. But always remember this. Jehovah is there waiting him. I mean, and stretch out, sir, and just a wait power with the wall on to it for help, with a pull it out of any situation that we are going through so no care what you are doing in life always pray always keep god close because nobody cannot convince me say god not real because i've experienced i've been through a lot these are just one of them but two weeks after that me decide say guess what may i do the right thing i'm gonna get baptized which is about a month now and there is nothing else left in this world right now more than for me for walk with god and give him a praise.